know your IS code provisions short lecture series. In this short lecture, I am going to explain about floor slabs with excessive cutouts or openings. Now, what is this excessive cutout or openings? What is the problem with that? So the, uh, the basic idea is that the earthquake force is the induced force that acts at the center of mass in the diaphragm. Now that force is fed to vertical resisting elements depending on the rigidity of the floor. Now if the floor slab is rigid, then the force is distributed according to relative stiffness. If the floor diaphragm is flexible, then distribution is according to the tributary area. So what is the difference between these two? So a uniform uh, deformation takes place in the rigid floor diaphragm, but in flexible, of, uh, flexible floor diaphragm, uh, middle frames will be subjected to excessive deformation. So let's go into the details of the clauses. Let me share my screen. Yeah, so floor slabs having excessive cutouts or openings. Now what code says is, openings in slabs result in flexible diaphragm behavior. And hence the lateral shear force is not shared by the frames and or vertical members in proportion to their lateral translational stiffness. So because of the openings, this force is not shared in proportion to the, their relative stiffness. Now this problem is particularly accentuated when the opening is close to the edge of the slab. A building is said to have discontinuity in their in-plane stiffness when floor slabs have cutouts or openings of area more than 50% of the full area of the floor slab. Now, if we look at this uh, diagrams. So A is the total area and A0 is the area of the cutout. If the area of the cutout is more than 50% of the total area or if the area of the cutout is, uh, the cutout is at the edge and having area more than 10% of the total area. So in both these cases, we need to take that slab will behave in a flexible manner. So flexible floor diaphragm action will be there. So what say, what code says is, in a building with floor slabs, having excessive cutouts or openings, if the area of geometric cutout is, less than or equal to 50%. The floor slab shall be taken as rigid or flexible in plane structural analysis of the building depending on the location and size of the uh, opening. If it is more than 50%, the floor slab shall be taken as flexible in plane in structural analysis of the building. Now, what uh, does it say? If the opening is less than 50%, then rigid floor diaphragm analysis can be conducted. But if the opening is more than 50, equal to 50% or more than 50%, flexible floor diaphragm has to be considered. Also, if the opening is at the edge, even if the opening area is less than 50%, in that case also flexible floor diaphragm analysis should be conducted. Now, as I uh, told earlier, in flexible floor diaphragm, uh, excessive displacement demand will be there in the middle frames compared to rigid floor diaphragm action. In rigid floor diaphragm action, a uniform uh, displacement will be uh, there in the floor. Yeah, the intention of this short lecture is to help students and practicing engineers understand IS code provisions in better manner. So following references have been used in the preparation of these slides. And I sincerely acknowledge the support of my students in preparation of these slides. Thank you.